Hey guys, welcome back. Today will be another update of our high altitude balloon project. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Glad you could join me today. Today I have a bit of an update on the high altitude balloon. Um, some things haven't gone very well. Some things have gone fairly well. This is the data logger. Uh, I've showed this in previous videos in this uh, in this build series. I've got this pretty much finalized. This uh, the lithium polymer pack is providing power to the entire system. I have the Bluetooth module fastened down. I've got a rubber band here that I can uh, rubber band this thing closed. I've tested it to. Uh, minus 20 celsius and uh well minus 19.5 for extended periods and it's done extremely well uh fyi to those um you see a lot of stuff if you're looking into this kind of thing about the performance of the lithium polymer batteries falling off pretty badly um in my case with what minimal draw i have here I haven't seen any drop off. A little bit of surface charge, voltage drop off, but nothing serious. A um, bit more serious has been my tracking systems. So what I've got is I've got an Android phone with the Space Tracker app, which is sending text messages and recording uh, to a, a KML, a Google Earth file. I've set the text messages to varying frequencies and I've had varying results. It's not going well. Uh, what I found is the phone battery. Uh, I knew the capacity of the battery was failing and uh, I went ahead and ordered one uh, on eBay to replace it and this nice one came through and well that logo does not match any android phone so i'm at a standstill again waiting for them to ship me a new battery i think that'll take care of most of it but i'm not sure how much i may still run into some problems but the testing's ongoing this is the spot trace unit uh, i did an unboxing on this on a mailbag monday and I'm having even less results with this. This thing is supposed to send me an alert message anytime it moves uh, with five minute location tracking. It's not doing that. When this thing goes to sleep, it, uh, it seems to not pick up the track and send messages. It sends the status message and the battery okay message, no problem. But uh, I'm not getting the results I need out of it problem is you can't troubleshoot this thing uh, there's no live data all, all you can get is the reports back from the website this is not in my opinion at this stage not a good solution for balloon tracking what would be far better would be to in, interface the GPS to the Arduino and uh, interface it directly to the phone uh, it could do a lot more tracking that way but I wanted two redundant systems so no matter what well actually not no matter what I'm still running into problems this is hard to troubleshoot not so bad medium this is nearly impossible to troubleshoot I'm getting a little worried here uh, it's not long till launch day it's a lot of work to do and obviously tracking and recovery are kind of the most important parts so if anyone has well, I don't if anyone has any tips on these, any other diagnostics you can do, um, hacks or otherwise, this is a brand new unit. I don't think these things have been out for more than a couple months, so I'm kind of doubtful there's going to be much out there. Uh, I might even reach out to the manufacturer to spot and see if there's anything I can do via the USB or otherwise so that I can see what's going on. Updated the firmware. That didn't seem to help once this thing goes to sleep. Whether or not it'll send a message again is debatable. Uh, maybe due to the orientation that I had it. Um, that is also, they warn you about the orientation needing to be right. Uh, again, I'll, I'll keep testing and we'll go from there. So barring that, seeing as how I can't do a whole lot more location testing, I can do some temperature management testing. If you didn't see it, I did a uh, 
a test of some hand warmers. These dispose these disposable and these not. I did miss this on the video. There's the seven plus hours. They lasted significantly longer than that. I think I'm probably going to ditch the non-oxygen required altogether and take my chances with just the disposables. I'll start a test tonight and we'll see what we get by just putting one of these in and temperature logging and make sure we don't overheat the cameras. And uh, we can take it down. My freezer has no trouble at minus 19.5 C, so uh, the ambient temp outside has gotten a little bit warmer. But uh, that's where we stand. Um, not much of an update other than uh, more of problem statements. If, uh, yeah, if you have any tips or thoughts, uh, go ahead and post them in the comments or on the forum thread for the high altitude balloon. I'd love to hear from you. It's, uh, there's a lot to do in a very, very short amount of time. I'm running some, <laughs> a lot of math and, uh, looking into making checklists and, uh, there's a really a lot to do, um, sending this thing to space. I guess we could get a, get away with just sending it up and takes our chances, but, uh, I'd like to make this thing work first time. Hopefully it's not in vain. I'm glad you guys could join me today. Thanks for following along this project. Thanks for joining in this project. Love having you guys. Love the comments. If you got anything, uh, any advice or tips, go ahead and post them in the comments below or uh, even better on the forum thread on the website. Thanks for watching.